Hi everybody, it is that time again. It is time for the V8 Verbal weekly review of the events over at simulatorgolftour.com using GS Pro. I'm on it this week. It's only Wednesday. The event's only finished on Monday. Um, and it's uh, one week um, worth of events to cover. And it's the last regular season event of the summer season. Um, the competition that everyone's taking in part in right now is the end of season tour championship for the Pro PGA and web tours. I don't know if the TIPS one has a tour championship. We'll have a look in a minute. But let's see how and what or what went on um, last week on the events. I will disappear up here as usual. Um, as mentioned last week, it's a new look uh, simulated golf tour site. It means I don't have to kind of pre-plan uh, all of these events and load up all the tabs because I can do it on the fly because the site is so damn quick. So we'll have a look at Pro Tour first. And over on the Pro Tour, as I say, the current event is the Tour Championship. It will be the most um, um, ranking points to to earn and most points in the standings. So we'll have a quick look at the standings, given that we've just got the one week to go. Uh, but the event that just finished is the BMW Championship. So let's check it out. This was played over at Olympia Fields, North Course. Um, and over on the Pro Tour, the winner by four shots, which is you know a decent margin there is uh, Jay Weber taking the win over on Pro Tour. Uh, Typhoon um, 0702 in second, C. Stevenson in third, the legend Bob Chung there in fourth, and then tied for fifth, we've got a number of people. We've got Rob T, we've got Mark Andre, Travis M, and Les, who finish out the top five. We'll have a look down to see how many people finished. Um, over on Pro Tour, um, I haven't actually looked at this end of the leaderboard to see. So it doesn't, oh yeah, do not finish. We had 82 people that actually finished with Zward Kalia finishing there in 82nd. And a lot of people that teed it up and didn't get round to finishing, me being one of them. Um, I shot one over in round one. I was actually, I think, one or two under. Um, and then I had a blow up and played one hole of the second and just had enough of that. So... Um, not many good world ranking points for me. Let's have a look at the net leaderboard on Pro Tour last week. Uh, Travis M took that one by, wow, by eight shots. That is some some margin there um, off a handicap of zero. Um, Rob T tied for second with Bob Chung. Back there in fourth, Hosel Rocketo. And fifth, we've got Typhoon and Jay Weber. So well done, Travis M. Bottom of the net leaderboard... Um, we had Zward Kalia again, so we'll give a shout out for Jeffrey, um, 1085, being down there in 81st. So closest to the pin, which I forgot to do last week. Um, do I need to look at settings? Let me just work out if it shows closest to the pin. It does, CTP 16. Um, I'm just navigating the site for the first time, all good to see. So we'll have a look at the CTP and closest to the pin on Pro Tour was Nolem won uh, 3.74 feet from the pin. So he takes that one. Um, looking at the standings for the Pro Tour with one week, the Tour Championship still to go, which of course th there are the most points to go. It is very close up there. We've got Jay Weber with his win this week going uh, into first place. Uh, Josh there just behind in second, not many points back. So imagine a win for either of those guys will probably be enough. I don't know if Josh would need to win and um, Jay Weber finish like third or below. I'm not too sure of that. Um, Cole Stevenson here in third. We've got uh, Joe Legowski there in fourth. And in fifth, we've got Typhoon. But it's all to play for with the current event being the end of the season. Let's look at the net standings with one event to go. Uh, Josh has got a decent margin there, so I'd imagine a strong finish for him and these one of these guys not winning it might be enough. Again, I don't know exactly how many points. We've got Jay Weber there in second, just one point ahead of Ross Oberg in third. Don just a few further back and Travis M there in fifth. But Josh is in a very good position um, there. So without further ado, we will go and have a look at the PGA. One. So the PGA event again last week, it was the same thing. It was the BMW Championship that finished. Um, and it was close at the top. It was De Golfer Man just taking it on count back, holding off Bob Chung. As I've said, far too good for PGA. Um, but um, if you're down there and if you qualify, make the most of it. So well done, Bob. Um, good form that week. It's taking second. Zach Silverman third. Tim M fourth. 
And tied for fifth, we've got Pontus Q, D Ganim, and M Shoop, or MS Hoop. Um, tied for fifth, so well done, guys. How many people? I actually did all right, 19th. It wasn't too bad. It was a course with a lot of OB, a lot of trees, um, which every time I hit a tree branch, it seemed to kind of suck it further into the, uh, into the rough. And I think... I think I had a couple of blow-up holes, which every time I started making progress, I lost it. But I definitely had at least one or two OBs. So that was I was I was happy with that finish. Um, do, 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 and earned at least some ranking points. Working down, how many people finished? Very good turnout on PGA, has to be said. Um, if all these guys finished, 158 people finished. The flying cheese there in the last spot, plus 82. Um, so well done guys for getting those rounds in it's great to have such a good turn up, turnout and we should get even more coming in the winter season obviously when more and more people spend less time out on the course uh, looking at the net leaderboard the net winner this last last week on PJ is outrageous to win PJ net Bob Chung it's just lunacy um, well done Bob <laughs> well done Bob I'm happy to see Bob winning anything whatever he's doing Dad Golferman uh, tied for second with Steve Vink and CPA Dog and M Shoop and Jason MC7. So all those guys uh, tied for second on plus two. Um, or a 16th on net. Not that net counts for anything, does it? Well, maybe it does. Last spot on the leaderboard net, it was Ward Callier. Again, the fine cheese up there. So they're giving him a shout out. So Wyoski, you can have a shout out on plus 35. Let's look at the closest to the pin. So again, if I look at the settings, it'll show me closest to the pin was hole 16, and it was off of the white tees. I haven't clicked on these links before, so I'm kind of working my way around. So that isn't opening the scorecard, is it? Because it's on the settings. Oh, there we go. Ah, you have to... Oh, wait, did it do it further down then? No, oh, yeah, hang on. White, 16, I think it's 176 yards from what I can tell. Uh, so it's a toggle. I wonder if that could be shown as a toggle. Um, or if maybe it's obvious. Uh, and closest to the pin, 170 yards. I'd expect these guys would be four feet again, something like that. Oh, 2.25 feet. Jay Carter taking that one very well done. Let's have a look at the standings. I'd love a standings link here. Um, I really should feed that back in, but anyhow. We will look PGA, just to avoid having to do that and then go standings. Standings with one event to go, the Tour Championship. Uh, we have Dag Olferman in the first spot. Uh, second, J-Dub. Uh, Bob, I can't believe obviously I say Bob's there. Bob third. He could he could still potentially win it. Maybe he could win it if Dag Olferman. looks like it's Dag Olferman's to lose. Bob third, Don fourth, and uh, Phil Ace there in fifth. Well done, Phil. Um, looking at the net standings, where am I? Where am I? Could I finish top? No. Could I finish top anywhere? Top 35, maybe. Only nine events. Not, it's not been a good season for me, this one. Uh, we'll look at net standings. And with the Tour Championship to go, this one is close. This is up for grabs. We've got Pontus Q there in first. Not by many points ahead of the cheese. Bob right up there in third. De Golferman there in fourth. And B Sports in fifth. But uh, any of those guys, I think, could still win that on net. Um... Yeah, no sign of me. 47th. Yeah, very, very, very mediocre um, summer season. Haven't played much. Haven't had any consistency. Oh, uh, let's move on. We are going to move on. And did I do closest to the pin? I think I did. Yeah, I did. Um, we'll look at the web tour. So I had a, a bit of a, I raised a bit of a grievance on the last session. I still feel the same way that winning, winning the web event gets you more points than, let's say, finishing 19th, I think I finished, on PGA. Um, yeah, I can't compete in web. I'm not allowed to. Um, so those guys that are standouts on web have more points available to get that first spot and second as well, I think. Um, so I don't think that's fair in terms of world ranking because we can't play down at that event. Um, they should be competing against the uh, uh, tougher field, for want of a better phrase. Just, you know, am I taking this too seriously? Yeah, maybe. <laughs> maybe, but that's how I feel. But the good news is, I'll get on to World Ranking shortly. Uh, the Web Tour, the winner this week, um, thank goodness, because when I get on to World Rankings, this will be relevant. Thin Man looked like he had it in the bag, and then Morgan Golf, who I've not heard of, came in and romped home on minus six. Well done, Morgan Golf. Thank you. Um, second place, Thin Man, unlucky Thinny. Third, the goat of Discord, Soupy. 
and Drakung, who looked to be possibly favourite for, for winning the uh, standing this this uh, season. And Noah Fry also tied their third. So very well done, Morgan Golf. As I said, I don't think he's played many events. We'll have a look at the standings shortly. How many people played on the web tour? Um, a great way to start if you're new to sim. Um, or if you've been like a simulator pro for the last 10 years and um, <laughs> winning lots of events. Ooh, I'm in a bad mood today. No, I'm in a good mood. That's why I'm saying it. Um, that's what KM2032 plus 83 taking the last spot. Looking at the net winner this week over on Web Tour, the net winner was Jersey Rob on Countback. So unlucky to Jeff S K O and Bonzo just missed out on that Countback, and it must have been a good back nine in round two for Jersey Rob because obviously Jeff S K O had the best round two, so must have just have had most of that in the first nine holes of round two. Hope that all that makes sense. Um, Cash, uh, there in fourth, and Soupy, Joey says do it, uh, Trick It 3D, Strong Design Studio, and Bod Hizafa, um, all there tied for fifth. Uh, last spot on the net leaderboard, going to uh, KM2032. So, let's have a look at the closest to the pin this week. Uh, closest to the pin, the settings, it is hole 16 off of the green tees. Hole 16 off the green tees. Green tees, hole 16, it's 145 yards. The web guys, I oh, think he's dialing it in these days. Um, yeah, I'm going to stick with a similar one. I'm, I'm going to go two feet. No, less than that, one and a half feet. I think someone's going to absolutely nail it. No. No, they didn't, but still very good. 3.2 feet, MC Dosi taking it uh, this week with the closest to the pin. So let's have a look at the standing. Remember, there's all of these other stats you can look at for the various tours and competitions now. You know, check them out. It's well worth doing so. Um, we will look at the standings for the web tour. And... It's looking like, with them both having played similar, top three have played similar amount of events, really haven't missed many. It looks like Drakung's, Drakung's just missed one. Um, given the amount of wins, uh, Drakung's got a sizable lead. It's his to lose. I'd imagine a top, um, a top few finish, maybe a top five would be enough, should tie it up for Drakung. Um, Thinny looked like he really needed to win this, this last week. And Morgan Golf coming in, having played one event, with a tour championship to go, he's timed it well to stop Thinny um, potentially <laughs> potentially winning it. Whee! So Drakung there top, Thinny second, Soupy third, Simply Me fourth, and David Bates currently fifth. Um, still to be determined who's going to win that. Net. Over at Net, I expect it to be much closer, and it is, and it's Steve Mack who um, was relieved that I actually did do my um, review video because... Um, yeah, I'm not calling you the names you mentioned. What was it? <laughs> Top dog or something? <laughs> no, no, it's not happening, although I just have. Uh, Steve Mack there uh, in top dog <laughs> position. Second jersey Rob. Papa Slash there third. Thinny back there in fourth. And Bruce Lee in fifth. So probably all to play for. If Steve can't have a good you know, top few finish, then one of these guys might be able to take the title with a win. They're the three main tours. Looking over and that contribute to world rankings, we'll go on to the tips tour. As I said, I don't know. Let me see. Does it say tour championships? No, it just says tour event 35. So I've got no idea when this gets closed off and they start a new season or whether it's just rolling. But in the event last week, we had M. Loger winning it by four shots from Bob. So he's playing the tips and he's finishing second. Yeah, he's winning net PGA. Yeah. Third, D Show. Owen M there, tied for fourth with Limitless Golfer, Blaze Lee Sack. I shouldn't slag Bob off much. He's the one that shares my video the most on Discord. So thank you, Bob. You know, it's all tongue in cheek, though. It's absolutely true what I'm saying. Um, how many people finish the tips event? I don't normally do this, but 26. Um, I probably would do it if it, if, there's, if it becomes a world ranking event. I think I'd still tee it up on there, though my distance, um, the, the driving distance at the moment is absolutely shocking. It really is poor. Uh, closest to pin, the pin for these guys, um, off of the black tees, it's CTP 15. Black tees, 15th hole, 238. 
So to be fair, anything inside about 25 feet would be really, really good, um, I would think. Six feet, six feet. Tommy, what are you doing up there, Tommy? Uh, Tommy, took it. Just holding uh, Bob off. So those guys, yeah, standouts. The only ones that hit the green, I guess, were seven people. Um, I'm assuming that's uh, how it works. So, uh, yeah, Tommy, well done. Uh, taking the top spot. We are meant to be catching up for golf with Tommy and Shanky um, tomorrow and Friday, but we're, we've uh, postponed it. Tommy's away and um, just too busy. It didn't look like it when I'm doing this quickly, but uh, yeah, too busy for me to do it. Um, so that is that. Let's look at the standings for the tips. Um, I, said, I don't know if there's just one event to go or how it's going to work, but uh, we've got Ross Oberg just ahead of Willie. Um, I shine third, B. Holman fourth, and Bomber Hild fifth um, through those events. Uh, there's been, from the look of it, D shows played the most, 28 events. So that's how many have gone. And we're in week, what did it say? It said week when I looked at the tips tour. Was it about 30? 35. So nobody's played all of them. Okay, moving on. Let's have a look at the auto putt uh, tour with just um, what I believe are just the two were the one event this week to go. I'm assuming it closes out and it's not a full season, but I'm not certain. Um, this last week, the winner on auto putt was Fleety242, just winning it on count back, holding off Bob, who's always up there on auto putt. Third, Bradford. Fourth, Hoddle Rockete. Fifth, Travis Nelson and T-Mac. Uh, the net winners this week, finished, was Fleety242, winning it on count back. Gremlin617, just missing out. Michael Dean, third, and there in fourth, Jay Mads and Bob Chung. Um, how many people took part... Um, I won't do last place on auto putts, just give you a feel for how strong the field was. 135 people finished. If we look at the closest to the pin, do you get that on auto putt? I keep forgetting. Uh, because you don't have to put it. I can't remember. I can't remember. No, I don't think you do. Let's move on to the standings. We will look at the standings. And auto putt gross. Uh, can Bob win it again? At the moment, Ross Oberg has a good league lead, but Bob could probably nick it with a first spot and Ross not finishing maybe second. I shine there in third, J Lag fourth, and Bradford fifth. I'd, I'd suggest that I shine could also win it. Um, possibly. I don't know exactly how many points are available, but um, certainly to play for, I think, at the, uh, at the top. Um, looking at the net with one to go, or at least one to go, I so say I don't know for sure if the season ends now. Um, we've got Fleety at the top, R. Hunley second, Ross Oberg third, O&M fourth, and I Shine fifth. Um, given the all those guys have only won once, I'd imagine a win will do it for probably any of those guys. Any of those guys going down as far as I'd think, um, yeah, these guys could possibly win it with a with a win. If <laughs> if it's the final event with extra points, it doesn't say Tour Championships. So what do I know? Um, let's look at the par 3 event from this last week. The par 3 event, uh, week 19. We have got Les uh, winning that one. A win for Australia, I believe. Uh, two shots clear of W Speed. Two shots clear of Bradford in third. And tied for third, J-Dub and Tim M at 2 four, 3 um, I think I might quit the par 3 event as well. But Papa Kriegs... There, 119 people finishing. Did I quit? I might have had some rage. No, I might have finished. I didn't do well if I did play. V8. No, no sign. I didn't play. Uh, let's look at the net leaderboard. The net winner this last week was the Cheese. Uh, just winning on count back. Um, ahead of Robuson, uh, CG3 Golf and Mitch, please. All missing out. They're in fifth, Eagles and Birdie. So well done. The cheese, another win for Australia. So it's a double whammy on gross and net. Uh, the closest to the pin this week was hole 16 uh, from the par three tees, which means hole 16, par three tees, um, 133, given that... You know, there's no kind of um, segregation for the uh, the guys. I've got to think it's going to be close. I'll be disappointed if it's not less than two, three feet. It's got to be around that. And it's a hole in one. I don't think I've had one of these for a little while. Tom Leroy, another Aussie. So they won gross, one net and one closest to the pin. Very well done. 
um, Australia. Australia. Uh, let's look at the standings. Uh, the par three standings at this point in the season. We've got Les some distance clear of Bradford. Jason Sol third. J Dub fourth. Willie eight. Certainly Les is to lose at this moment in time. Though whether it's one more week or more, I should really just ask Cook. Um, and looking at the net leaderboard, the leader is is the Web Goat, but he's doing well on PGA on um, par three. Just shows he's uh, dialing it in. Uh, Stagamar in that first position from only playing four events. Um, I Christie there second, the Cheese third, Strong Design Studio fourth, and Gavmat in fifth. So let's see how that pans out. Moving on to the two man scramble. The two man scramble, I say Josh and I still haven't had a chance to play. We haven't really been doing a great deal. I think this might be it done. In fact, I think it is done until the next season. So let's have a look who won the final event of this season. And it was Andrew V and my mate Mythesis. They're taking it on countback just ahead of Fandorm and Pontus Q. Back there in third, we've got Jamie Bristow and Brian Hayes, C. Stevenson and Grumples, and Hosel Rockato, Ray McGinley, sorry, McKigney, uh, J Lag, and Owen M. So a lot of people back there in tied third, but it was Andrew V and Mythesis who won the last event. Um, so let's have a look at the oh no, net. The net last winner, C. Stevenson and Grumpel has got it. Won a clear of Jamie Bristow, Brian Hayes, then Jeffrey Beck, uh, J. Cho and Nan Vinny, and Hosel Rockato and Ray McKigney. Uh, let's have a look at the standings. Who won the summer season, assuming it starts afresh? Um, what I'm looking at, Scramble. Who won the two-man standings? Gross, it was Fandorm and Pontus Q who won it. Andrew V and Mythesis there in second. T McIntyre in third. Jay Lagan and M in fourth. And Josh and myself there in fifth. So very well done to Fandorm and Pontus Q. Looking at the net winners. The net winners were by just eight points. Uh, Jamie Bristow, Brian Hayes. Uh, just clear of MJ Stricker and Willie Long. Uh, Sean McKenzie and Shanker Bottomus. T Mac Typhoon. And Lockless and Ginger Ninja, the uh, New Zealanders, or at least one is, I think both probably are. So that concludes the ones I cover. As I mentioned, there is a four man blitz competition starting up again. I think you can all join in. Um, the dog fights, I imagine, will be continuing and running if you want to put money in and try and win money and prizes each week. There's the guys over at Sim Golf running their events. There's a ladder system. Of course, you can be taken on course records. Um, but get your rounds in on the Tour Championship, extra points, extra world rankings and see where you finish. Let's have a look at the world rankings with one event to go in this season. We have got Josh there at number one spot in the world, second C. Stevenson, third place Jay Weber, fourth uh, Mark andre and fifth Joe Legowski. Um, Crichton shout out for Scott there in 10th, I mentioned this last week. Going down a bit further... We have got, there's the Wiz there in 44th. We've got Tommy Seb who shouted me out a little while back there in 52nd. My mate Mythesis in 55th. I can give other people a shout out. Drakung. So we've got the web, web player hoovering up web points there in 64th in the world. Um, also taking part in other tours, I should add. Um, we've got myself um, barely able to break into the top 20 in any of the tours, but just managed it this week to... Stay in the top uh, 70 there in 69th. I'm in a 69 with Benny, um, it appears. Um, down there in 75th, we've got Thin Man. So Thinny, I think, would have felt he was going above me in the world rankings this week. But um, thank you to, I forgot the name, who turned up and, and robbed him of his victory um, at the last minute. That That's kept me there. And hopefully Cook can see this and change the rules to make sure that the web guys don't get um, quite as many points. <laughs> Sorry, just, just the way it is. Play PGA. You can play PGA. Every web player can play PGA. Fight for the points. Um, you know, you know I speak sense. Uh, but that's that. That's that. Get those rounds in. You know, you can work all your way down. You do have to finish top 60, I think, or possibly top 80 to earn any points. I think it's 60. So there will be some people on zero points there. So 710 people have finished in the points on the various tours. Um, lots of people there in that kind of 0 0.01 spot. So these guys, I guess, haven't broken into the top 60 in the tours, but keep doing it because it looks like there's 787, I'll call them active golfers, um, taking part in the tour. 
right now on the on the three tours um, Pro PGA and Web, and that's a great thing. Should it should be more in winter. And that concludes this weekly review. Um, I'll be back next week to cover the Tour Championships and announce who the big the big winners are. And I'll see you then. Thank you for watching. Goodbye.